Hello Oracle Geeks, this is Justin, and in this Oracle YouTube tutorial, we are going to show you how to create an RMAN Recovery Catalog. RMAN, which stands for Recovery Manager, is Oracle's, um, is the Oracle supplied backup restoration and recovery utility for Oracle databases. It logs into to an Oracle database and it internally knows how to backup an Oracle database and does so for you. Um, the metadata of an RMAN backup, not the actual backup data itself, but the metadata is kept in the control file of the target database which you are backing up. And in RMAN ter terminology, a target database is a database that RMAN is, is either backing up or restoring. Um, the metadata can, so the metadata is, all, is always kept in the control file of the target database. The metadata is also kept in another location known as the recovery catalog, the RCAT. And the recovery catalog is nothing more than another Oracle database that has a schema set up where all the RMAN metadata um, gets kept. And now, you have an option to use a recovery catalog or not to use a recovery catalog. If you don't use a recovery catalog, which is the default, then all RMAN metadata will be only in the target database's control file, the database that you're backing up or, um, or restoring. If you do have a recovery catalog, the metadata will be located in two places, in the target database's control file and in the recovery catalog. All right, so, and uh, you, could, you can run without one if you want, and there are advantages to running one, and we'll, we'll get to those. All right, so, we, there are two databases running on the system. The first database is the database we're going to back up. It's called Finance. The next database is called Finance 2. Now I'm going to make Finance 2 the arm and recovery catalog and I'm going to make Finance and Finance is what so Finance is our production database with our um, company our business data that we want to protect and Finance 2 is just going to is another Oracle database it's a, it's a it's a full Oracle database which is running elsewhere which will keep the metadata of the arm and backups from from the Finance database. Now both of these databases, the target database finance and the RMAN recovery catalog database finance 2, are running on the same physical computer system. This is not ideal for real field installation. If you were going to set this up in a real environment, you would put them on two separate computer systems. But for sake of um, this presentation, it's fine. So the first thing we need to do is first thing we need to do is log into the database which will be our recovery catalog which in this case will be finance 2 so we go ahead and we set our oracle SID to finance 2 uh, both databases have been started by the way I started them before the video okay we ensure our oracle SID is set to finance 2 and we connect using our SQL plus program we ensure we're connected to the Finance 2 database, which we are, Finance 2. Select name from V$Sign database, Finance 2. Okay, the first thing we need to do is, now, some of this is what I do, and some of this is best practice Oracle, so this is just, if you want to know just the, the nitty gritty details on how to do it, uh, all Oracle documentation from the Oracle Corporation is free. You can just go to oracle.com, go to support, uh, click on documentation, and select the Oracle database. Um, you know, 11G release 2 or whatever version it's currently at when you, uh, you know, watch this video, and if it's still applicable, obviously, and uh, you, should, you can either view all the manuals in uh, HTML format in your web browser, or you can download them in the PDF format and view them with your Adobe um, Reader. All right, so Finance 2. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is we are... The first thing we're going to do, connected to the Finance 2 database, is we're going to create a user that the RMAN Recovery Catalog will connect to the target database as. Okay? Um, I'm sorry. I got that wrong. We're going to create a user that RMAN will connect to the Recovery Catalog as. So, we go create user, rcat finance identified by finance one two three now you know all these you don't have to call the user RCAP finance I just did that because it makes sense recovery catalog finance because that's the database we're going to be back it up user created now if we do a select username from DBA users where user name is equal to finance oops sorry 
our cap finance we will see um, our um, our cap finance user has been created now what we have to do is we have to grant him certain permissions and these permissions are grant connect resource recovery catalog owner to RCAT finance 2 oops finance okay so we granted these permissions here to this and this is the most important one recovery catalog owner to RCAT finance now we must create a, a table space which will create an underline and data file where all the metadata of the database we're going to back up in this case finance will reside so all the metadata and metadata is data describing data it's not your business data it means nothing to your company it's just a metadata it's data to ha meta that has to do with the backups itself what's the name of the backup file names how big are they um uh, what, what what data file backups do they contain things like that okay so go ahead and do a create table space we'll call it rcat finance like that data file c colon slash database or data finance to rcat finance to oops sorry finance 01.dbf size 20 meg should do it so we're saying create table space called RCAT finance, put it in the file that resides in C colon slash database or data finance2. The file is called RCAT underscore finance01.dbf and make it 20 meg in size. Now if we do a select table space name from DBA table spaces, we'll see that our RCAT finance table space is there. And if we do a select name from the data file, we will see there is the file. And if we go to our operating system, where our files reside that make up the Finance 2 database, we will see that we have an RCAT Finance 1 DBF at 20 meg. Okay, so let's log back into our Finance 2 database. Now what we have to do is we need to make the default table space for the user we just created. That table space we just created. So what we need to do is space name from DBA table spaces. We need to do alter user, the name of the user, RCAT Finance default table space RCAT underscore finance like so. Remember the default temporary table, the default permanent table space for our users is a system table space. Okay, but um, we changed it to RCAT Finance. Now what we need to do is we need to give the RCAT Finance um, database user. Remember the user we created is just in the Oracle database itself. We need to give him um, a, a write permission to the data file, the table space we just created, and we do that by giving him. Um, unlimited quota and how you give them unlimited quota is with the command alter user rcat finance quota unlimited on rcat finance alter user rcat finance this user quota unlimited on this table space so by, by making him the default by making rcat finance table space the default table space of the rcat finance user we're saying that when the R man when you when when the R man program connects to the recovery connects to the finance to database the recovery catalog he he needs to connect as as the RCAT finance user and when he when when he writes metadata when R man writes metadata to when R man's backing up the target database finance and he writes metadata and he's backing up the finance database and he's writing metadata about that backup to both the control file of finance and also to this um, recovery catalog um, database at the same time he's to write it by default to the RCAT, RCAT finance table space that's where all the data is to go okay now we're going to do a select you'll see why I'm doing this table name from DBA tables where 
table space name is equal to RCAP finance. So right here shows us that there are no tables currently created in the RCAP finance uh, table space. And we're also going to do the following. Select view name from DBA views where view name like RC underscore. Okay, so recovery catalog underscore. So you'll see you'll see all this come together in a second. So there are no tables in the finance table space, and there are no views that start with RC underscore. And uh, again, don't worry about what a view is too much in this video. Uh, too, I have videos that on YouTube that um, specifically deal with Oracle views. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to set our Oracle SID to be our target database finance. And uh, we are going to t do RMAN. We connect to RMAN, but look, when you connect to RMAN, typically, look what happens. It says connect in the target database, which is finance. Now let's go ahead and let's just do a backup database operation. Look what it says here. I'll cancel it. It says using target database control file instead of recovery catalog. That's because the default connection mode for RMAN is not to connect to the recovery catalog. Okay, so it's saying that I'm going to use the t the target the control file of the target database, which is finances control file, instead of the recovery catalog. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the catalog. And how you create the catalog is you do RMAN catalog equals the user recreated R cat finance the password that we that we set for it was it finance one two three I believe and we're gonna say at finance two so what we're saying this is called a connect string in the Oracle world Oracle terminology and what we're saying is launch the RMAN program connect to the catalog finance two okay the catalogs in finance two but connect as user R cat finance with password finance one two three so Connect to the Finance2 database as user RCAT Finance with password Finance123. And since the default table space is RCAT underscore Finance, anything that this session creates or any session connecting to this database as this user connect creates will go to that table space automatically. Okay, now it says, it doesn't say connected to target database, it says connected to recovery catalog database. So a little bit of a different message. Now what we have to do is, we need to issue a create catalog command. And that is as follows create catalog, like so. It goes away for a few seconds. It's creating all the base tables of, because for our man to be able to store metadata about the backup in the recovery catalog, he needs tables to write them in. And right now, he's writing those tables into the RCAT um, underscore finance table space. Because that's the default table space of the RCAT underscore finance user um, who we're currently connected to as. All right. Recovery catalog created message we get. All right. Great. So now what we're going to do is, what we have to do is, um, let's, lo let's log back into our recovery catalog. Now that we issued our create catalog command up here, and remember those two select statements I did before? Let's do them again. So now, now that you issued the create catalog command from an, from RMAN connected to this database, go ahead and type in select table name from DBA tables where table space name equals RCAT finance. So show me all the used all the tables that are in the RCAT finance table space. Now you notice we have tables here, okay? They don't mean much to you, but you won't be selecting those, okay? You'll, there's 44 tables. You'll be selecting from the views. So now we do we do that we we do select view name from DBA views to start with RC. Now we see we have a bunch of RC views, okay? Because the create catalog command created those views for us.